from Katona, New York. I grew up on a farm outside of New York. Actually, my grandchildren call me Moo Moo because I can Moo Pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> On my 40th birthday, my whole family and I went on a trip to Peru and I bought a Super 8 camera and decided I wanted to make a movie and I brought it back and my filmmaking friends said I had a good eye, I should take a course in photography. I signed up for a summer course and the first day of the course was during our family week at the beach. And I borrowed my husband's camera, I didn't even have a camera and these nuns in their black habits came out on the beach and I started chasing them. And he chased me saying, you can't do that. And I said, well, it's a public beach and they don't seem to mind. And it's still one of my most iconic pictures. I'm not shy about going places, getting off the main road, so to speak. And if I see something, I'll go for it. One of the pictures in the Southbound show is Dixie. It had the dogs in it, and in that, all about the South. I mean, that's really a Southern picture. Did um, you have that intention when you created it? Well, I saw it, and I took it. I didn't leave it there. <laughs> no, I mean, I didn't make it. I didn't create it. Uh, it was there for me, for the picking. I have a picture in my entrance hall of, um, I was at a cemetery up in Canton, Georgia, not far from here and I took a piece of black cloth that I wanted to use as a backdrop and I was asking her uh, to hold it for me and she was futzing with her camera and I got impatient and I finally threw it over her head and then I saw that there was this building behind her and I shot a great picture. It was totally unthought out or didn't have any plan which is how I like to do it. If I have a camera in my hand, I can go anywhere. We were just down at the beach this year, and this man came, and I don't remember what he said to me, but I wanted to take a picture of this vast beach with millions of umbrellas and people. And he said, well, I have a room up on the third floor at the end of the building. You can come and take a picture from there. So I followed him told my kids about it, they said, Mom, you've got to be crazy. Anyway, he asked me if I knew Jesus, and I said I did not. So he went about saving me. So for the whole 45 minutes I was with him, he was saving me. So I'm a new person. <laughs> Thanks to photography, right? Thanks to photography. I mean, I'll go anywhere for a picture. <laughs> I'm looking for a great picture. I'm not trying to change the world. I'm just looking, 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 looking. <laughs>